there's none like you nowhere. Yes. Uh, we had been talking about, um, the last time that I, I taught, we were talking about Ephesians 1, and we were talking about Ephesians 2. And my series in, in this round of um, video uh, screenings is going to be about our confession, or about the words that we speak out of our mouths. Um, sometimes we don't realize how important it is. Uh, but we're like, we're, how this started for me is I was going through a, a transition in my life at some point, And the Lord spoke to me and said, how long are you going to leave it this way? Mm -hmm. And when he spoke that to me, I didn't realize at that point, you know, I was waiting on him to do something. Mm -hmm. And he was waiting on me. In other words, he had equipped me with everything that I needed for that season in my life to do what he had trained me to do. And all of us are on a mission. We're on a mission by God, we're on this journey in life. We got our family thing happening, yes. And you know how you raise your child up and you train up the child in the way you want him to go. So you do certain things so that when he gets old, he won't depart from that. Well, God is doing the exact same thing with us. He didn't put that in the scripture just so we could do it. He put that in the scripture because that's also because that's how he does what he does. Mm -hmm. He trains us up in the way we should go. Mm -hmm. So that when we're old, when right. we're elders, we got gray hair and beards as men. We're not men, but you know what I'm saying. That's the example of yeah. an elder, a bearded man meaning he has wisdom, when we're old, we won't depart from it, mm -hmm. right? So sometimes we get lost on this journey not realizing where we're going. Mm -hmm. When from the beginning of the book in Genesis, the Bible spoke, God spoke. The Bible says that God spoke, right? right. It says in the beginning, God spoke. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, there was chaos. Things were in disarray. The, the, open of the opening of the book starts out for us. In chaos, mm -hmm. not for us as 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 a creature. We didn't start out in chaos, mm -hmm. but the story that he decided to tell to us started out in chaos, mm -hmm. and it started out in chaos because he realized that we were going to be placed in a world mm -hmm. that was going to be full of corruption, yeah. that was going to be full of a whole bunch of mess, and he was going to equip us with a tool yeah. that we be able to that we would be able to speak into the chaos and cause that thing to turn around for us. Amen. 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 Now we have been talking about Ephesians one. <laughs> And it's important that we, we, we understand where we are spiritually because if we don't understand where we are spiritually, we won't think this thing will work. Amen. We'll think that we're just like everybody else. And I'm speaking to believers. As believers, the Bible says in Ephesians 1 that Jesus is seated at the right hand of God yes. the Father. Yes. So he's in heaven. He took his seat. He died. He, 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 he got... They, they murdered him, they put him on a cross, they put him in a grave, he resurrected, and then he went and he sat down at the cross. Yes. Amen. Or at Amen. the right hand of God the Father. Mm -hmm. And then in Ephesians 2, it tells us that we are seated yes. together mm -hmm. with him, right? Mm -hmm. So when I think about where I sit, uh. right? Last time we talked, we talked about a summit. The summit being the top. Mm -hmm. So let's think about it in the terms of a mountain. So this is my mountain, right? Mm -hmm. A little crazy mountain, but you get it, right? Mm -hmm. That's the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. So that's where uh, Yahweh God is. We'll call him that. That's where he is, right? Mm -hmm. So we just learned that Yeshua or Jesus is also up there too, right? Right. Yeah. And then we also learned that not only is Yeshua up there too, mm -hmm. but so are we. Because, mm -hmm. because of his work on the cross and his work when he got up out of the grave, we're yes. now seated in yes. heavenly places. Yes. Where he is. In fact, Colossians admonishes us to keep our minds on things above where Christ is. Yeah. It didn't just say keep your mind on things above. So I ain't supposed to walk around with my head in the clouds just looking at the birds. Just, just, just looking at the sign of the clouds. Talking about like I did today right here. It looked like it's going to rain. That's not the above it's talking about. Yeah. It wants us to keep our mind on things above what Christ sits yes. at the place of power. Yeah. Because in the middle of chaos, yeah. you're going to need to know that you're seated uh, spiritually in the place God. of power. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't know you're seated in a place uh, of power, uh, then the prince of the power of the air, yes. which is another thing he just blew my mind on, he gonna, he's the he one that's going to pull your strings yeah. like a puppet and go, you won't be able to, you won't be able to uh, do what God wants you to do. You're going to yeah. be ruled by your lust, Flesh. by your desires. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. So Yahweh's there, Yeshua's there, and me and you are there, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Then when we look at Ephesians 2, chapter, uh, verse 1, it tells us that the ruler of the power of the air or the ruler of the air is also there, right? Because you think about air, you think about up, you think about high, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when we looked at uh, the word air, the word air, you know that we're reading the New Testament, so we're, think we're looking at Greek words, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we're looking at Greek words, but we're looking at it from a, a Hebrew mindset. 
So we not only do we look at the heap, the, the Greek word, but we also need to take a step back and find out what that word meant originally. Uh -huh. So when we look at air, power of the air, yeah. mm -hmm. the word air there is the same word that they would use for spirit, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And that word spirit is the same word they use for wind uh -huh. or breath, right? Uh -huh. So then he's the ruler, uh -huh. the enemy, he's the ruler uh -huh. of the power. Power just means, uh, it's the word azusia. And it means uh, will. So whatever will that I have that I want to do, that's what that word power means, right? Mm -hmm. So he is the power, the ruler of the power of the air. So he's the ruler of the power of breath. He's the ruler of the power of breath. So everybody that's not connected to God, they're a power of breath. Mm. The Bible says that corruption is in the world because of the lust of men. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Not because of the enemy, uh -huh. lust because of the lust of men. Mm -hmm. The enemy uses the lust of men mm -hmm. to get men to do whatever it is he wants them to do. Yes. So then you become a part of his set. Yes. God has sons and he has powers of the breath. Mm -hmm. wow. So he makes them say things. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah. Yeah. To release evil in the world. Yeah. The power, that's what he said. He's the power of the air. The uh -huh. power of the breath. Uh -huh. Don't you have breath? Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't you have breath? Yeah. Yes. Remember, that's how we do things. We don't do right. things in the spiritual by the natural stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. In the spirit, things that are made apparent happen because of something invisible happened. Right. And the invisible thing is the breath. You yes. can't see when. Yes. Yes. Can you see it? Yes. No. Yes. Somebody yes. spoke something, yes. and that's why it's the way it is yeah, you feel in the place where you are. Yes. So he's the ruler of the power of the breath. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But the problem with that is, is that we feel that chaos in the air. Yeah. You go into a place yeah. and you feel the stupidity. Yeah. You feel it. You feel the heaviness. Yeah. If somebody was dealing with depression, you yeah. feel it. If even if it's perversion, yeah. if homosexuality is in the place, you can feel that thing in the place. Something ain't right. Uh -huh. Something's going on. If there's a liar in the place, yeah. sneakiness yeah. is in the place, you yeah. can feel that. Why? Because the power of breath. People outside of God are in the place. Yeah. Oh my God. And you already know he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. So people think this is the way, stealing, killing, and everything else that we do in our flesh, they think that's the, the way to get way. what they yeah, want. The mm -hmm. way, yeah. They think that's the way to get what they want. Mm -hmm. So we get into the place, and because he's lower than us, you know, it hits us, right? Because it's in the air. We, it hits us. It hits us. It's in the breath. We, think, we know when somebody says something. We don't even want some people to open up their mouths. Mm -hmm. Don't even say nothing. Because you know when she says something, <laughs> uh, it's just going to be nasty. They get, ah, I don't even feel. We, we will have com conversations. We have conversations when we get to a place. Because yeah. we know they're going to be there. Yep. They're going to run their mouth. That's the truth. Yeah. Amen. But when you know where you're seated. Right. Yes, sir. When you realize... Mm. That, yep, I'm not saying they don't have power. Uh, they got free will because God created them in that way. Mm -hmm. The enemy just uses their free will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. He uses their free will. So they do have power. Mm -hmm. It says it. The world is a mess because of what Adam did, right? Amen. Because of the lust of men. That's mm -hmm. how we got into this situation. But this is how we get out. Uh, come mm. on, come on. This is how we get out. Jesus. Now, we may not be able to stop everybody, but the realm that God has us in, we're able to create an atmosphere yeah. in that place with That's our right. words. Yeah. When you recognize who you are. You know the scripture says in 1 John to, 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 to test the spirit by the spirit. By the spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, I already told you what spirit was. Mm -hmm. It's breath. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Test the word by the word. Uh -huh. So when you walk into a place and you feel a thing, and you if I walk in and, and, and there's an intimidating spirit in the place, right? Yeah, yeah. So I feel uh, now overcome, right? Uh -huh. I feel now uh, overtaken, and, and I feel like I can't get my point across in this place, and I can't win in this place. Mm -hmm. The power, there's a power in the air that yes. dictated that feeling. Yeah, That's yeah, how yeah. you know what's been spoken. Yes. It's usually how you feel yes. or what you see. Yes. That's how you know what they said mm -hmm. or what the enemy tried to project through them, right? That's how you know. But when I feel that, mm -hmm. I can set the course uh, right there. I can yeah. shut it down. Yes, you because can. at any time that I feel like that I am defeated, uh -huh. I know because I'm comparing word against word. Uh -huh. His word was you're defeated. Uh -huh. God's word is you're more than a conqueror. Yeah. So I'm supposed to take and come and say, it's, what did it say? Yeah. What did it say? What did I just tell you what it said? Um, Compare spirit, yeah. judge spirit by, by spirit, spirit. Yeah. judge word by I'm word. Here. So if I feel sick and the word says I'm healed, I'm healed yeah. then which word, I, where do I rest my hat? 
on the healing. I rested yeah. on the healing. And then not only do I rest it there, I rest there, but it also is higher than whatever was spoken in the atmosphere. Yes, right. And yeah. when I live spiritually, then I know that things happen oh. in the natural yeah. by what I did in the spirit. Yeah. So when I line my word up yeah. with God, then like he did yeah. in the beginning when it was yeah. chaos, Hallelujah. sickness is chaos. Yeah. So when you see chaos, you open up your mouth yeah. and you speak what God said. You, yeah. be, you bring it in line. Mm. You bring it into agreement with what he said. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 So uh. I'm seated at the right hand with, with Yeshua. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm there. Yes. The enemy is down there. Uh -huh. under He's my under feet. my feet. Yeah. The Bible <laughs> literally says that mm. Jesus is placed Jesus. high above yes. all powers. Yes. High above. Yes. <laughs> high above. Yes. Ephesians 1. He's placed above all powers. He's yes. high. And God gave, he's a ruler. Ruler means it was, it was authority given to him. Yes. I told you already that the Lord allows us to go through things to, so that we get to the point where we're frustrated, where we'll put this hat on, yes. where we'll act from this seat right yes. here. Yes, yes. Amen. Mm. It says, when chaos happened, mm -hmm. he spoke. Mm -hmm. So as I end this, I ask you, what are you saying in your situations today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Knowing that your words are higher than his words. Yes. The Bible says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Yes. That's what it says in Isaiah. Amen. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every yes. word yes. Yeah. or every tongue yeah, that comes against I me, yeah. I, it don't say God is going to I condemn it. Right. It says yeah. I from my yes. seat in the heavenly places. I oh, condemn what the enemy said. Yeah. Yeah. And guess yeah. what? It's my heritage. Why? Because yeah. I'm sitting yeah. up there. Yeah. Yeah. It's my heritage. Yeah. It says. It's my heritage. Yeah. It belongs to yeah. me. Yeah. 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 And the enemy tries to steal it. The Lord gave me this to me years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't want you to think that, that that is something that I just got perfected and, and stuff is lining up as I speak. The enemy will fight you on yeah. it. He don't want you to believe that you can have what you say. No, the Bible yeah. says that if you pray anything according to the will of God, yeah. it's yours. Yeah. Well, he already spoke this. This is his will. Yeah. His will is that you not be defeated. Yeah. His will is that you overcome. Yeah. He said to the one that overcomes, I'm going to give you all of this. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So he had to give us weapons so that we could overcome with yes. something so simple. Yes. I gave you power in your breath. Mm. Mm. I gave you power in your breath. Yes. Say like what I say. Yes. Speak what I speak. Mm. Line that thing up with what I said. Yes. And then keep your mind on what yes. you spoke. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Keep Create peace. winds. That's right. Create winds. Y'all see what happened as soon as it gets windy? You know season's getting ready to change. Yeah. It'll be hot today, get windy tonight, and be cold tomorrow yeah. because the wind blew in a change. Yeah. And that's what we blow out of our mouth. Winds. Yeah. Our words yes. are winds. Yeah. And we need to speak yeah. winds of change so that thing will turn around for us yeah. and not be frustrated because we don't see things lined up just because we said it. Yeah. No, it will manifest. Yeah, well, we it will said. manifest. Yeah. But Amen. we don't fight against flesh mm. and blood. Yeah. You ain't fighting your flesh. Uh. You ain't fighting her flesh. Uh. You ain't fighting his flesh. Yeah. You're fighting against this. Yeah. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Yes. Yeah. But you sitting higher than that. Yes. Yeah. Seated in heavenly places. But he wants, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. He wants to make sure you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know because I don't change my confession. Amen. That proves that I know. Yeah. I know who I am. God, Amen. I know what you said. Mm hmm you told me to cast my cares on you, so I don't worry about nothing. Amen. That's a confession. Yes. <laughs> I don't yes. Come worry about anything. God. So every yes. time worry comes, because worry's coming, because it's in the air. Yes. It's in the air. Yes. Somebody, some busybody's coming around. They worry, and that spirit catches on if you don't stop it. That's right. Amen. Amen. I don't worry about anything. Amen. I cast my care on God. God, do I have to take care of myself? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. No. Because mm -hmm. that ain't what his word said. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Pastor Jawanda Simpson, and I'm the pastor of Perfecting Church at 13 Millside Drive in Wilmington, Delaware. We're here on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. We're here on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. and every other Monday at 6.30 p.m. Please come out and see us. Take care.